Hey, my name is Shanshan. I sell art on shanshan.co. Today we're going to review a channel called Dyke Karen. So it's a very small channel. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten videos, literally. <laughs> but the base is huge. It's fifty-five thousand. Like, what is she doing right? Okay, let's go check it out. So just. She has only an upload, she has no playlist yet, so that's okay. I mean, she only have like eight channel, eight videos or so, so that doesn't matter. Let's go to the first video. So this is called Jelly Gouache Unboxing and Speed Paint. Let's see what this is about. So something from China. So maybe it's a channel, Chinese promoted channel, I don't know. Because I will say, I don't think anyone buys any, well, people buy stuff from China, but not intentionally. <laughs> but I mean, if it's a good product, it's a good product. But I always have my uh, doubts about the quality. They are known to use really bad stuff. So we'll see what it's like. Maybe it's Japanese though, I don't know. That looks really cute. I like the music overlay, it's pretty nice. Really nice detail shots, uh, zooming in here. Very visceral feel, opening all the packages. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Music's really, really loud. It's like crazy freaking loud. I'm like, what the hell is this? So this is always good to have a color study when you do um, open up paint so you kind of know what it's going to look like. It looks like a really nice type of paint to work with. I've never get it, but it looks really good. check my food real quick. All right, I think the food's good. <laughs> Let's get back to the video. All right, so just kind of washes. Let's skip ahead a little bit. It's very, very watery. I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to use it, but. cool layering effect where she's kind of it's kind of like a watercolor but it has a little bit more body like an acrylic so it's kind of like that nice in between uh, watercolor and acrylic let's skip ahead a little bit yeah that's without a doubt So a lot of people will use kind of just this straight paper uh, palette to kind of make it easier, but I would just recommend glass. I don't know how it works with gouache, so maybe you need some kind of paper base, but it's really wasteful to use paper like this. You know, with the environment, that's just terrible. But anyway, scroll head. All right, she got a kind of a cool thing. Here's where it looks really cool, where you can see, oh, this is very painterly. Very, very cool.
Yeah, it's really interesting. You can do that water and then at the same time really sharp marks. So it's kind of a really cool style of paint. Skip ahead a little bit here. Very nice overall effects. So I think that's pretty cool um, as far as a painting. Uh oh, I think my food's dead. Hold on. All right, the next video is called Painting Studio Ghibli Ariete Scenes Squash. kind of nice you get a, a story build here where it's raining outside so let's go and start decide to paint we're inspired by Arietti so it shows a mixing a drink I'm showing me drinking a wine <laughs> I don't make wine I just buy and drink it and <clears throat> it's just going in line searching out the scenes I think so let's keep going ahead here So a lot of realist painters will paint this way where you get the photos and you get inspired. So let's skip ahead just a little bit here. It's a very nice visceral sounds here. Very economical use by using a watercolor book. So you save a lot of money that way. Especially before your painting starts selling, it's a good way to do it. Let me turn this down a little bit. It's still so loud. I don't know why it's so loud. That's pretty good. Let's skip ahead a little bit. She has very nice layering techniques here. that she doesn't tape the edges is really raw so it has a really nice painterly feel more organic than some people that tape it and make it super clean which is more sellable later but this is kind of a nice especially for a painting video it looks really good so just change the viewpoint there let's skip ahead a little bit has nice music on top here she must have this cranked on the volume because <laughs> i turned it down like half it's like half and it's still loud it's wild Very, very dark. But sometimes you need that darkness to really capture the shadowy part of the water. Kind of looks like ripples. I don't know if I'm convinced fully, but very nice technique though. Let's skip ahead a little bit here. It's like a drink with lemon in it, I guess. So a nice time lapse here. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Oh, that's actually a light. I thought it was like a lemon. <laughs> There it is, Lemon. Oh, we'll see once the paint comes back on. So, very nice zoom shot here. You get a really good feel for how the paint looks. I like how she has those little nice tiny accents. It really makes a difference. Let's scroll to the end, see what it looks like. So it's just kind of panning over, so that's really nice. You get a feel for the painting. I think the only thing I'd add here is maybe have a voiceover so you kind of know what the thoughts going into this. Um, you don't really know. She tells a pretty good story just visually and with the music. Let's go into the next video. This one's called Pack Orders With Me. I think it's a little bit older. So. 
This is a nice studio, so that's kind of a cool setup. It sounds crunchy because there's no soundproofing. That's why it's crunchy. That's kind of nice. Let's skip ahead a little bit. She has a lot of stickers, so she must be doing pretty well. So here she's just adding a protective on top of the print so they don't get smudged at all. So this is a really good practice. So it's really smart. She has her own printing press. So she's printing her own prints and then she's just selling them right off her site. So she probably has two levels. She has originals probably and then she has prints or maybe she has prints only. So that's really smart. Uh, let's go ahead here a little bit. Very cute way to pack it up, which is really important for presentation. People really like that. I would use something more protective, but maybe that's protective enough. I don't know. Just gonna have a whole bunch there. Let's skip ahead. With a lot of stickers. It's amazing though. It's a very nice packing material. I would say this is a really nice, really nice touch to add. I know myself, I don't really pack it that nicely. I pack it uh, professionally, but to add this kind of really nice layer so it feels like really fine art is really important, I think, to really make a huge impact with your customer base. So it really helps kind of resell, 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 I think. Let's scroll ahead a little bit. Okay, yeah, so she does add cardboard, so that gives us a really stiff edge for the print. Um, I'm surprised she doesn't double cardboard it, but I mean, maybe that's all you really need. And it's cool she's added a couple little free things. That's a really smart idea. So if you ever do a painting or something, have some stickers or something to throw in there extra. It's like unexpected, and then the client will appreciate it that much more. And really, stickers won't cost you that much at all. So it's just a really nice touch to kind of add that in there. Scroll to the end here. So I think it's a pretty good video. I, the only thing I'd add is there's no voiceover. It would have been nice to kind of explain like, hey, today I got X amount of orders. We're gonna do this first, and then I'm gonna go into the prints, and then I have to do this combination. The reason why I put my prints, I throw some stickers on my prints is because of X, Y, Z. And that kind of would add a lot more to this video, I think. But it's a really pretty solid video as far as kind of the day in the life of an artist doing just the orders part. So that's pretty solid. Let's take a quick look at her website. Uh, so her website just says KC. Um, so she has, oh, so she's out of Malaysia. So that's interesting. It's good to find out where she's at. Let's see what her art is. Looks like she has some really big stuff. That's really cool. So she's doing a huge blanket, which is super badass, 250. Really good prices. I don't think it's really expensive at all. We have these sketch studies, they're only 20 bucks. Well, these are prints, so I don't know if she's doing, maybe this is the original, 75. That's still super cheap. I mean, for the artwork, it's not expensive at all. Really, really reasonable. And really pretty good quality, I'd say. I think I really like her stuff. So yeah, I think she has a pretty solid website. It's just really, um, Simple products only, there's no blog, there's no videos. You might wanna add videos there, but I think it's using one of those cookie cutter kind of website that handles the prints. So I kind of have a print site as well for just my prints only that are open edition. I should probably do limited edition as well, but um, I haven't had much success in the past on that, so maybe I should add that. 
And yeah, I think she has a really solid little simple website to kind of sell our print business only and just kind of have that geared off YouTube so they can immediately buy her art and then probably, you know, ask her about the originals if she sells originals. I didn't see anything connected on her website to originals too much. Um, she does have limited edition prints and open edition prints, but maybe I assume she sells the painting. I can't imagine she'd keep all the painting, but who knows? Some people are very protective of the work or they let the value increase and then sell it later. But yeah, I think she has a pretty solid little website. She has a really good start on YouTube, obviously, with 55,000 subscribers already with, I think, eight or nine videos, which is amazing that you get that huge that fast. Um, really killing it too on the shopping side, I'd say, just having those really low price $20 prints. I mean, who can't afford $20 prints? It's super cheap all around the world. That's pretty affordable, so you can sell it anywhere. She'll probably be able to raise her prices eventually if she wants to kind of limit it to, you know, U.S. and Europe. But, I mean, if you're selling all out of your prints, that's probably a better thing than having it not sell that much. That's a real issue if you have, most artists have that issue where you're just not selling that much and you're just sitting on tons of inventory and building more and more inventory because maybe you don't have the price points right. And so I think she's figured that out on the print side is where the sweet spot for her where she's selling a lot. And that's probably the most important thing to figure that out and then slowly increase your prices as you see the sell lot goes faster and faster and faster. Then you want to slowly increase the prices so you don't want to sell it super fast. You might want to sell it in a day. So once you get it down to less than a day, then you're like, okay, maybe you increase it 10, 20 percent. Right. And then it goes back to a week and then maybe you work it down and the demand gets up, up, up. And then you're down to a week again and then or down to a day again. And then maybe you increase it or whatever your threshold is for increasing prices. I think that's a really good um, trigger to increase prices but you know if you start at the right price point low enough that it just sells really easily you know she's gonna really sell this type of work really easily it looks like um, yeah I think she has a, a good start we'll see how she develops over time so hopefully you guys like it give me a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe you can subscribe below and I'll see you on the next artist reactive